Well, it's Wednesday evening. We got some front end parts basking in the sunshine. Oh. It is like 100 degrees out there. But we got the air cranking out here. It's a balmy 79 degrees in the garage. Gotta turn this down. Just commercials. But we got on the front end. Uh, this is gonna be uh, a while before I upload this. So this is Wednesday. We got the front spindles on. New upper ball joint, new lower ball joint, new bushings all the way around. You know the drill upper. The bushings are going there. We got some new shocks going on up in there. Purdy, purdy, purdy. Brake line ready for brakes. Uh, control arm. I still don't like the way that goes through the header. Uh, maybe it's got to be cranked all the way this way or something, but it just feels like it's going to hit the header. It does actually now. Mind it's not tightened up yet, but I don't understand it. Poor design for the header or poor design for the suspension. Either way, we got the torsion bar on. All the front sway bar kind of do hickey thingies. New links, new bushings, all that wonderful stuff. So, anyways, gotta get back at it. Got the other upper control arm painted. Got its new ball joint in there. Miscellaneous parts on the ground here. That's about it. Project Cuda. Let's go. See ya. Hey, Saturday morning YouTubers, Project Cuda, back out in the garage, about 4 a.m. Exhaust is ready to go in. I'm going to wait till I get some tires on the front, and then I can lift the whole car up. We're going to get the exhaust on this weekend. Still got a lot of parts laying around here. We got uh, brakes, shocks, we got some synthetic uh, lube for the axle and the tranny. Oh, it's coming together though. New battery cables. Uh, front end parts are starting to dwindle down. There's a couple bushings. No, no. I think I got all the front end parts done. That's uh, rear and training that's still over there. We got the uh, passenger side laid out today, this morning. Basically, the components that it consists of you got a front bar. I, I don't know proper terms for this stuff. I'm not a Mopar guy. But this connects to the K-member. You got your upper control arm, your spindle, with your lower ball joint already attached. You've got the uh, lower control arm. I got new bushings I pressed in there. I got a new bump stop, I guess is what that is. We got new uh, links for the uh, shoe bar. We've got the torsion bar. We got a new shock. We got all new tie rods and uh, links. A backing plate, I guess. So, that goes there. Let's get at her. We gotta get some brakes on this thing. Get a drive shaft put under it so we can move it. I might have to run and get a seat. Seats aren't here. All right, see ya. So I did that today. 
Uh, yeah, as well as the uh, front suspension. It's all buttoned up, ready for brake fluid. We uh, hung the exhaust best we could with what we had. Uh, no dump pipes right now. I'm okay with her being quiet. I don't have the tips yet, so I haven't attached the uh, tailpipes permanent yet. They came with these uh, ruby little clamps here, but I'm not mounting them yet because I want to see where they come out the uh, rear balance. But uh, everything went in pretty good. Balanced out pretty nice. Ran the fuel line, as you see up in there. Uh, other than doing the rear brakes, which is next, well, I got it up in the air. That's it. I think I'll uh, give you guys a quick upload. Got to get the fuel tank in there. I'll give you guys a quick upload and uh, call this a video. I'll do some more tomorrow on the next day. See ya.